Hello friends, I'm really excited to show you this Nanolif Elements. Welcome to this new video. Before we start, I have to mention that Nanolif sent me this product in order to showcase it on my channel. But as always, I give you my honest opinion. First, let's see the box, then do the unboxing, the configuration and installation, see what kind of automations we can add, and then I give my conclusion. If you want to like to skip directly to one of those chapters, feel free to do so in the video description. So the box is quite heavy. You feel that it is a quality product with the cover exactly as one of those element panels. So you can see this is the starter kit with seven light panels that comes at $229.99. There's also a version with 13 panels which comes at $369.99. There's also an expansion pack with three panels that comes at $79.99, but you can also buy individual panels. You can create your own design, it's up to you. And there's a nice little feature that I will show in the application that helps you to find the form that suits you. The setup is really simple with tape and it has a dynamic glow effect that they show here on the box. So now let's see what's in the box. Leave it with some examples to create yourself. Really like this one myself. So easy to understand in installation guide and then the warranty. Clever solution with those handles. And here you can see one panel. So one panel is 20 centimeters by 23. Once installed, it is one centimeter thick and it weighs 208 grams. The material is a laminate with a wood grain finish. Personally, I really love this finish. Even when you don't turn on your elements, it still looks really glossy, where the shapes or lines are just white or black. So to show you how to install them, but it is really easy with 3M tape. You stick it on the wall, push on top of it, and you're all done. And you can also easily dismount them by lifting the panel. This piece will stick on the, on the wall and you can pull the 3M tape off without damaging your wall. Follow these directions carefully to safely dismount your elements panels. Gently snap the panel off the mounting plate. Place one hand on the plate and with your other hand pull the exposed tab of tape along the wall. Do not pull perpendicular to the wall or at any angle or you'll be risking damage. You could also use screws if you would like to, but those are not included in the kit. So Nanalif advise you to try first the figure on the table or flat surface, where you can choose also to align the wood pattern or be creative as you like yourself. Then we have this little control panel that you can add wherever you want. We have the connectors. So those connectors are compatible with shapes. So you can combine uh, the, the two of those if you like to. We have some spare tape here. The power plug, so the European and the US power plug. And here's the power adapter. So the power adapter comes with a cable length of two and a half meters. There again, you can choose from which position 
you are wired up the elements so you can install the cable in the most discreet place. So fun fact is that they don't only have those really nice light effects but elements can also be enabled with touch control so you can control your home setup with these elements so you can choose which tile has what function so for instance you can activate the scene by tapping on one of the panels it has music sync as well which we'll show later on and this dynamic glow effect which is really awesome one panel generates 22 lumens it's good for 25,000 hours of lifetime it goes from cool white to warm white and that is 1500 to 4000 Kelvin and it's dimmable of course so with one power supply you can have up to 22 panels and with one controller you can go up to 80 panels the difference between elements and shapes they have the same size but different finish and optics the elements have cool and warm white no RGB the corners Illuminate individually to create an organic sense of motion. Before we start with the installation on the wall, you should know that the controller and the power supply can be connected to any panel in your setup. Be careful, the panels with the 3M tape aren't suitable for textured porous popcorn and ceiling surfaces like wallpaper and brick walls. In this case, you should use the the holes and screw them on. So this small 3M tape can be added if wanted to this control panel itself. With application I created this figure and I laid it out on the table and I lined all my wood grains in order to make it look smooth. But if you would like to try different forms just click on this button and the application generates other forms for you. And then you can still change the disposition if you would like to. So let's recreate what I've made here. You can even try to see it in virtual reality by clicking on this button, but as you can see, strange enough, it doesn't work this way, but there is a workaround just go away from this option, go to the three dots and use this assistant. And here you can see it does work. And then you just look at the wall and you will see those panels in virtual reality. So that goes on one to the panels and then we prepare all the other connectors and that is as simple as clicking them in place. I checked on the wall to measure if everything goes well because the virtual reality is of course uh, approximately. So for now I'm sure I will put this control panel just below. For the power cord, I'm not sure yet if I will put it there or there. It has to be the farthest away from me because I have my 
Eve light strip just beneath, so I don't want the power score to be too obvious. But all the other connectors can already be placed. So I have to put one over here, one over there, and so on. The first two panels I installed with this tool in order to make it exactly level. Now I can add the other panels. So now I can also check where I should put my power cable. That looks really awesome already right now. So now let's plug in the power and add the elements to my home environment. I just stood up from under the table to power my elements and look how this looks already in daytime. This is really awesome. Now we have to add the elements to HomeKit. So in order to do so, you could use or the Nanoleaf app or directly the Home application. But let's go to the Nanoleaf app. Three dots, add a device, add elements, leave it to scan the HomeKit code. Add So it is in the living room. Let's give it an easier name. Go on. So here you can set some automations, but we'll do this later on. So proceed. So now I have to set the orientation of my Nanoleaf elements. So you can see the figure isn't quite right, but that is because it noticed where I have my control panels. So like my power source and my control panel right here, but it doesn't know the correct orientation. So now it is, let's close this one. There you go. So within the Nanoleaf application, you can see default scenes that you can set as favorite as well. So I have no favorites yet. They have this magic scene and that's where you just type a word and Nanoleaf will create a scene for you. So let's go to the settings. Gestion control. Here I can set some action controls. Let's do this later on. Ambient light. So you can see I can enable thread, but it doesn't react. So I have to check for firmware updates. So there are the firmware updates. You can see I have to update my Nanoleaf elements. this up to date now so let's go back to my device and then if there it is so it still is connected to Wi-Fi and the thread is unknown 
So let's check over here. One device isn't using thread. Upgrade, allow. And there it is. As you can see, it is a border router. So that's really nice. Now it is into my thread network. The Nanoleaf element acts as a thread border router. This means that the element itself connects to your Wi-Fi network, but it makes a thread network available in your house. So thanks to the element, you can install other thread enabled devices and make them work. But the thread element itself still will be connected to your Wi-Fi and not to thread. Now we can set some tactical actions. So you can choose for sliding actions or touch actions. Now in order to make those panels appear into your home application, you have to go through the Nanoleaf application like this. Make it appear within your home application. And then you can choose what scene that you want to give to this panel. However, I noticed that it doesn't always remember what you chose. So like here, it added the panel, but it didn't remember what I chose from scene. So now when I go to my home application itself, I go to my Nanoleaf switch. And there my second button arrived. So here I can choose something like a scene or an accessory. So let me choose this one, go on, and I'm done. So now I have the bottom panel to activate my fountain, and I have my panel just above to activate the scene with all my lights. So here I can set my colors. So the fountain isn't on right now. So let's press once. And there you go. So it does work, but uh, it takes some trail and error to find the right press. So I don't believe I will use this option really often. So as you can see, here there are some touch controls. So of course there's the on off button, so let's turn it on. Then you can dim. So you really need to soft press these buttons. Yeah. Here you can cycle through the scenes. So with this button, it changes randomly between the scenes. And with the last one, it is voice activated. So when I speak, you see that the panels move with the sound. So that's night on a music evening to have this little light effect. So in this color, really warm white, it looks a lot like flames, I think. It is a little bit orangey, but personally, I don't, don't bother that much. And in daytime, it looks really cool. Now, of course, we can also add the Nanoleaf elements to some existing automations. So to do so, let's see here, weekdays, in the morning when I'm at home it activates already a lot of lights in the living room and here you can choose directly which kind of scene you want to activate so the Sahara night would be a nice one and you can and even choose how bright it should be. 
Of course, you can also do this for the scenes. And there you go, really easy and nice to use. So now let's check all the scenes. Of course, the most easiest way to do this is within the Nanoleaf application itself. Soft white, bloom, and this is a voice or music activated scene. Calming waterfalls. clouds amber Splash, also a voice activated scene. Sunbeam, also voice or music activated. You can recognize it. You can recognize it here by the little icon. Warm waves. And just white. You can see here that I only have my light intensity on 97%. You can see here it is dimmable. So personally, I really like the Sahara night. It really looks nice. So my overall experience with the Nanoleaf elements, I really think they look super cool. The installation is really easy, 30 minutes and it's all installed on your wall. They look so nice in your room and they have a classy effect with this wood grain finish. The Nanoleaf application is a little bit complicated I find personally because you have to add the device here, then you have to go to the settings to upgrade the firmware and I had to reboot the device several times, it doesn't always remember the settings that you put in. I prefer to control the device itself within the home application itself. It would be nicer if the firmware upgrade and the activation of the panels would be done within a same wizard. So you don't have to skip from one place in the application to another place. So please let me know what you think about this Nanoleaf elements. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I see you in the very next video. Bye bye.